I find it funny how my first two videos with the new, more Doctor Who inspired intro were the ones that weren't even about Doctor Who. Hello there mysterious person behind the screen and welcome to my review of Batman 1960s complete television series Blu-ray box set. Now just a disclaimer, this isn't the standard Blu-ray set. The standard Blu-ray set comes with a little mi mini model Batmobile and it comes from with some other special features as well. Um, it just comes with a whole host of little art cards and everything. But... This DVD set is exactly the same as this. Uh, and I don't know whether it's exclusive to the UK, but I've only seen it in HMV stores in uh, the UK. I'm still in pool, by the way. This was the bulk of my money that I've spent now. Um, the, yeah, anyway. the I've only seen this set in HMV stores. I haven't seen it anywhere else. So that makes me think it's kind of... is just the DVD set, but ported onto Blu-ray. And I think that's a cheaper alternative to the real set. And even then it's still £75. It's quite a lot of money. But anyway, I'm really glad I bought this. I've been after this for ages, any version of it. Because I'm very, very bored of the film now. I've watched it to death. And I love the 60s uh, Batman series. I saw a few on ITV4 a couple of years ago. But then, then they stopped showing them. But I love it, and uh, it's really good. So, let's just get on to the packaging. Okay, so it's the same as anything. You just have the Blu-ray logo up there. Uh, Batman, the complete television series written up there. And you have Adam West and Burt Ward as Batman and Robin there. And they are sitting in the Batmobile. And it is a PG, and you have the DC Comics logo. Rotating the packaging around, you, again, you just have the Blu-ray logo and Batman, the complete television series with Gotham City there. It's a PG. And uh, on the back, POW. Although on the back it originally came with this little card that has like all of the information on it about the special features and all the technical stuff at the bottom there. So if you want to read this, pause the video now. And on the other side you have the seasons in there in the box. Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3, all nicely organised there. And, yeah, it's a really nice packaging. It's really bright, and it mirrors the style of the series itself, which I like. Only thing, though, HMV, what is wrong with you? Look at how many things there are in the box. There's loads of dents. Here, there's actually stains where the little sticky stuff has been used to put on the card. There's actually stains. Come on, guys. It's not like it's pre-owned or anything. If it was pre-owned, I, th I, I would think, all right, okay, it's pre-owned, it's used. I think I'm going to have to expect that. But it's not. It's new. I honestly don't see... There's no excuse for this, guys. Come on, step up your game. So inside the box, you also have this, which comes with it, which is an episode guide. And you open it. It's not, like, made of leaflet style white paper it's made of really cr it's really nice shiny ooh look shiny stuff uh and on the back there zock crash pow swish zap kapow kapunk crackle splat urk, and all the other onomatopoeias that we used in the show anyway you open it up you have the table of contents uh you have a letter from Adam West with a signature there and then on all of this you just have information about all the discs and all the seasons with images about the show there. So it's a really nice thing that you get this, especially with the added bonus of Adam West's little letter there. Okay, so here we have season one, season two, and finally season three. So let's start in the logical place, season one. Now all of the seasons feature images like this with various fill-ins in front of a comic book style background with all the colour mixed up. So you just have Burgess Meredith as the Penguin, with Season 1 written down below. On the spine, Batman the Complete Television Series Season 1. On the back you have the Riddler, and when we open it up, you have Alfred on the inside there, accompanying discs, which are here. So you have Disc 1, which is Episodes 1 to 12, Disc 2, Episodes 13 to 24, 
and disc 3, episodes 25 to 34. Now, the style of discs is really cool. It's like the bat symbol, and if you've ever watched the show, all the transitions are the spinning bat symbol. So when you put it in your player, it looks like it's spinning around. It's so cool. And that actually makes sense. And uh, it's quite consistent and it looks really nice. Okay, so here we have season two with Catwoman on the front. Which Catwoman this is, I can't exactly remember. I think it's Julie Newmar. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, but I think it's her. Uh, on the spine, Batman the Complete Television Series Season 2. Interestingly, Season 2 is the thickest one. Um, and you have King Tut on the back there. Opening up, you have Egghead and Mr. Freeze. And here are all the discs with Disc 1, uh, Episodes 1 to 12. Disc 2, Episodes 13 to 24. Disc 3, Episodes 25 to 30. Disc 4, episodes 31 to 42. Disc 5, episodes 43 to 54. And disc 6, episodes 55 to 60. Now, I hate this, how the double discs are packaged. There's no holder, so you have to take them out and then put them back in again. So you sort of have to, you see here, it sort of slots in there, but it's really hard to get it to slot in all the way. And as soon as I opened this to take it out when I got home, they all fell out. So I, 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 no clue, no clue why they thought that, no clue why they couldn't have just had holders and extended the packaging a little bit. It's really complicated and very annoying, but what are you going to do? And season two follows a green motif, as you can see on the discs here. And finally, here we have season three, with the great Cesar Romero as the Joker there. Season three. Spine, Batman, the complete TV series, season 3. Now this bugs me slightly. With season 1 and season 2, the spines were both purple. And this one's red. Which gives it a slightly jarring effect when they're all t placed together. I mean, they're all... Season 1 and season 2, all the same shade of purple. Season 3, red. No clue why they couldn't have just kept it purple and changed the font colour, like the other ones did. But, okay. Back, we... <laughs> What episode is this from? <laughs> um, you have Chief O'Hara and Commissioner Gordon there, beach gear. I think that's from the <coughs> surfing one where Batman has a surfing contest with the Joker and he has his little bat surfing shorts. Um, I've seen, yeah, that, that one's kooky. Um, and then we have Yvonne Craig as Batgirl on the inside there. And the discs are blue this time around. Season 3, episodes 1 to 12 on disc 1. Episodes tw uh, 13 to 25 on disc 2, episodes 25 and 26 on disc 3, and the bonus disc, which has all the special features on, is included in this pack. So it would be the thinnest box in the series, but because of that uh, little, uh, extra bonus disc, it makes season 1 the thinnest. So what do I think of this set? Well, the packaging's nice. I haven't watched it yet. Because I am in pool and the hotel and the house I'm staying in doesn't have a Blu-ray player, so I can't actually watch it. But the packaging is very nice. Um, the special features look very nice from it, and the discs look really nice. Um, so when you put them in your player, they spin around. And it looks like a transition. It just looks a really nice set. I have an idea of what the remastering's like because. I've watched an amazing, amazing video on YouTube, like 40 seconds long. It compares a scene from one of the episodes, and it's just, like, side by side. The left side is what, how it was when it was originally shown, and how it was when it's being repeated. And then, on the right side, is how they've remastered it just for this Blu-ray, and also the DVD as well. And it's just, it's incredible. It actually looks like something that's been um, produced today. It, it and it's just it's just oh it's amazing, um and I just can't wait to binge watch all of these, and um I can't I I love I love this series I love the campy nature of it and it's just it's just great. I'm glad they released the cheaper alternative on Blu-ray or at least here in the UK because the as nice as it is I wasn't prepared to pay 150 I think it was 150 quid for that set. That I couldn't find anywhere for ages. It went off Amazon for ages. Um, just as I had enough to actually buy it. So that really, really cheesed me off. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that 
even with the cheaper alternative, they didn't forget that they didn't just lazily put them all on here. They've got really like nice stylized packaging. It's you know they, you've got loads of bonus features. And um, it's ju it's just a treat for any fan, any fan of the 60s series. Pick this up. Um, just, just it's just brilliant. It's a great little box set for you to enjoy all of the original 120 Batman 1960s episodes in crystal clear, pristine HD. Th cheers for watching, guys. If you like this video, you can subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you in my next one. Take care now.